As you talk about the SNP providing strong leadership, there, there is rubbish across these streets. Is that not an example of the SNP letting down people in these communities? The triumphs of our great pretender, television's Nicola Sturgeon. Thanks to her, we boast the highest drug and alcohol death rates in Europe and a life expectancy that's also the lowest in Western Europe. Now there's some record. Why not take a stroll to see attractions like rubbish strewn everywhere, thanks to highly paid and wholly ineffective Susan Aitken and Nicola Sturgeon. I know that cleansing issues in Glasgow uh, are difficult. Bluff, bluster, but never actually empty the bins or fix the roads. And watch out for the plague of uncontrollable rats. All cities have rats. Cheeky little critters. Why not visit Govan Hill to see deprivation firsthand? As a local MSP here, you know, these are issues I raise on behalf of my constituents all of the time. Just don't go looking for a library, because First Councillor Nicola Sturgeon has closed most of them. You've got to destroy the whole education system to keep the poverty cycle alive, right Nicola? Take a stroll to Glasgow's Magical Museum of Invisible Things, the curation of all Nicola's best promises she never enacted, the Invisible HQ of Nicola's promised public energy company, and many absent benefits of the climate change targets she's missed year after year after year, the invisible improvements to our broken NHS waiting times, and some advice, whatever you do, don't have an accident. And don't phone an ambulance, because you won't get one. So, have you seen enough credible action yet? Take a look at our tragically distracted border-building parochial leaders, and imagine what this city and our amazing people could be if it were not for the malignant SNP.